Hey Capricorn, what's going on? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. Hope you're doing well. This is your November general love reading. This is general, just like I said, right? It's general, so it won't hit home with everyone. If it does resonate, please go ahead, like, share, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate it greatly. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you want a personal love reading, I have a special going on till the end of today, 11-11, $33 for a love reading, okay? Sorry you guys are last to know about this. Um, so just, again, literally $33 till the end of today, 11-11, November 11th is the cutoff. All right, so um, also your bonus reading will be on Vimeo. Check out what's going on with your person. Dig a little bit deeper into your energy. Um, see what's on their mind. See how they view you. What's in their feelings and emotions for you that they're not telling. Right? We got them some secret keepers and how they would like to move forward. Okay? So check that out on Vimeo if you're interested. And my Twin Flames YouTube channel, Serendipity Twin Flames Tarot. If you're on a Twin Flame journey, there may be some messages here for you. Okay? All right. What's going on with my Capricorns out there? I'm going to use the Light Sears Tarot here for the main spread. One of my favorite decks here. Okay, let's see. What's going on with Capricorn? Capricorn and their person, whoever they're dealing with. Any all messages here? All right, please show me some love. Like, share, comment, subscribe if it hits home. I appreciate it greatly, guys. All right, we got ooh, the death in reverse, Scorpio energy, and the six of cups in reverse. So this is someone, this is a past person that you're dealing with, Capricorn. This is a soulmate. Um, I feel like there's a lot of reflecting of a past situation, um, something that recently ended or ended um, a long time ago because I'm getting a lot of past memories, okay? Nostalgia, um, reminiscing. So someone is thinking of you. You may also be thinking of them because I'm feeling you guys are energetically connected. But the Six of Cups is saying some of you guys may have had children with this person, I'm also feeling like things didn't end on the best note, okay? The Six of Cups in reverse is like negative recollections of the past. Things didn't end too good, okay? But someone is thinking of you. In fact, the death in reverse is telling me there's something that came to an end, but someone wants to see if there can be some kind of restart or rebirth, okay? A resurrection is what I'm seeing. Someone isn't done here. Whoever you're dealing with, Capricorn. Ooh, the tower hit. Whoever you're dealing with on their mind, they, they feel like they've caused a lot of destruction in the past. They may have caused um, a lot of challenges, all right? They may be certainly going through a tower moment, okay? Some kind of big awakening, enlightenment moment, aha, okay, about this connection. So whatever happened, I feel like your person was responsible for um, the destruction of the connection, the demolition of the connection, something here, not being able to um, move forward, okay? Because there was definitely a death, okay? There was an ending. But I do feel with the tower and the death card this is two big major arcanas big big transformative change that's taking place in your connection with this person and i feel like your person is really um they're going through the dark night of the soul here i feel like there's a lot that they're seeing now you see all that you see the light beaming here and then this thunder and lightning there's big big change and this is 11 11 very powerful right um day portal activation of souls are um intertwined and awakening here so this is what's going on wow big 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 change taking place in your person's life and look they look at you as the star this is someone who wants to heal with you. They look at you like you are just so perfect in their eyes. The star talks about being optimistic. So someone here is still reminiscing. They're optimistic that something here can come back together, right? 11-11, wow, this is powerful. So whoever you're dealing with, Capricorn, they're thinking, they're reminiscing, they're dreaming, they're fantasizing of you wanting to repair the bonds that have been broken in the past, right? Something here just isn't done, Capricorn. This is someone who, again... They've hurt you. Maybe they've left you disappointed with the Six and Cups reverse. But you know what? This is someone who's been doing a lot of thinking. Okay? Let's see. In your person's emotions and feelings, the Three of Pentacles in reverse. Again, we got some of you guys may have a child. You may be co-parenting. But this is someone who realizes that, yeah, you guys weren't aligned then, right? You guys had some difference in the way that you guys view things, your perspectives, your values, your beliefs. You guys weren't able to come together and make something work. I feel like your person also, they may have realized that, you know, if they got involved with a third party, that was the reason why something wasn't able to come together. But your your person is feeling something here is is not on a most stable ground or they feel uh, perhaps, you know, they're, they're thinking about 
how or why they weren't able to align with you, why they weren't able to come together with you. So there's something here that maybe you guys just weren't on the same page about, and there's something that they're thinking over and over about. Now, how they would like to move forward is the Ace of Swords, truth, clarity. So this is someone, Capricorn, who is thinking of you. They've had a tower moment, right? Maybe they left. Maybe they weren't able to come towards you, but they're going through a lot of big, big change in their energy, in their life. It could be... Um, life changes in terms of their career um money family home and it's it sparked some kind of big awakening and now your person is wanting to move forward with you and with some kind of communication ace of swords clarity they're wanting to talk wanting to communicate wanting to let something out in the open because what their desires are to come together right the star wanting to meet meet you halfway now right if they weren't able before Let's see. So you guys uh, could be dealing with a Scorpio. We got strong Scorpio energy with the death in the tower. We got Aquarian energy. Um, let's see how this all works out. Now, behind the scenes, if you're dealing with someone who's a king of cups, it could be a water sign or someone who had so much love for you, but they weren't able to show it, right? This is someone that deep down, all emotions, right? Unconditional love. However, the king of cups, they struggle with expressing it, right? And certainly in the reverse, this person could have been very emotionally manipulative, right? They could have said things that kind of, um, you know, evoke emotion in you. Or I just feel like they kind of like used their emotions or, or took their emotions from you to kind of... Um, kind of see how you would react i just feel like this person would just hit things from you they didn't really show their true self they didn't really um express their feelings that's something here they probably troubled they, they, they struggled with okay but i feel like it's king of cups and verse um this is someone who's trying to deal with their emotions a little bit better trying to get a stronger hold on it they do feel for you there's definitely a need for communication clarity something here wants to come out in the open okay now, wow, we got the fool. So Aries energy. This is someone who wants to take this leap of faith, right? There's been some barriers. There's been some challenges. Certainly, it could be a risk, okay, being able to move forward. But this is someone who wants to take that risk. They want to jump into the unknown with you. Um, this could be someone who's a little bit younger. In the past, they could have been very foolish, right? Very inconsiderate, very selfish. But this is someone who would like to move forward, take that next step. How about it, right, Capricorn? Now, let's see what the outcome. Ten of Swords. Wow. So there was a lot of betrayal here. There was a lot of devastation here. And there's something here that's coming to a complete ending. And again, the death in reverse, there's something here that wants to start over, okay? I do feel like you guys have to acknowledge that something here really had to die in order to have a rebirth. That's one of the important things here. But I feel with the Ten of Swords, there's some kind of betrayal. There's hurt. There was devastation. Someone, you know, went behind your back, betrayed you big time. But now they're, they're awakening. There's something here is coming to light, some kind of illumination. They're wanting to talk. They're wanting to speak. They're wanting to tell you what's really going on right nine of cups came out with the two of cups at the bottom of the deck this is what you don't see coming and the ten of cups oh my goodness <laughs> so this is someone who like they they look at you as their fulfillment like you make them so incredibly happy and that's why we got that king of cups in verse they never express it to you but deep down oh yeah nine and ten of cups this is someone who looks at you like you are everything you are their complete satisfaction you are the whole package right so again this is someone who has so much incredible emotions for you they could probably just explode um the two of cups is telling me that this is definitely a divine partnership here this is a union wanting to come together because what you you make them happy some of you guys they look at you as someone that they can have a beautiful loving fulfilling family with okay so a lot of love here a lot of love perhaps it's been hidden right perhaps this person had to go through a tower moment in order to realize that wow this love they have for you is unbelievable it's unlike anything else they've ever experienced okay so let's get some clarity here for you capricorn what's going on beautiful reading for 11 11 wow 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 all right this two of cups here this is your soul mate, right? This is your soul twin. It took them some time. You guys may have been separated for a while here. I'm even getting some twin flame activity here. But I feel ultimately this is someone who's now like, wow, I see now. I see clearly, right? Now the two of cups. Let's get some clarity on the two of cups. Why is this all happening? Capricorn, who is this? <laughs> They're coming in so strong for you. It's amazing. Wow. I'm feeling the energy. All right. And I haven't even finished my coffee, guys. I mean, whew. 
This is a lot. All right, let's see what's going on. The Ten of Cups in verse. So they just can't be happy without you, right? This is someone who's realizing that, wow, you are you are their person. And there's no happiness. There's no fulfillment without you in the picture. Look at all this love. See all those cups right there? The death in reverse. It could be a Scorpio that you dealt with, right? There was some kind of ending. We go, we have the death. We have the Ten of Swords. Definitely some kind of big, big tower. Um, certainly, again, destruction. Um, this had to happen, I'm feeling, okay? I feel like this was divinely orchestrated. We got a lot of major arcanas here, but now there's a new beginning. We got the full energy, the emperor in the verse. So this is someone you dealt with, Capricorn. Could have been a father figure, someone you have a child with, but things were not able to move forward, right? There was chaos. There was drama. There was misfortunes. The emperor in the verse, someone was not able to take charge. Someone was not able to, um take the rein and move things forward, okay? There was a lack of planning. There was a lack of initiative. You could have been dealing with someone who had some control issues, okay? But honestly, they just couldn't move forward toward you at the time. Now, why is the Six of Cups in reverse? Whoever you dealt with, Capricorn, there's like not so much fond memories, okay? Eight of Swords in reverse. You guys may have really felt trapped and stuck for some time. It also could be your person's energy. It really could be, honestly, both of you guys. You guys have released something here that was keeping you tied and bound, okay? You're no longer feeling stuck to this person. You're no longer... I feel like a lot of you guys have cut the cord, okay? Whether you're doing some um, cord cutting type of um, routines or, and, and, you know, just really trying to detach from this person. They weighed a lot of heavily on your, your energy. Um, but I really feel... Let's get that Eight of Swords again. Let's see what that's all about. I feel like you guys are really trying to detach from someone who's been kept you stuck for too long in this cycle. Someone who... Again, they weren't moving things forward with you. There could have been a very, very painful ending. The Hierophant Reverse. This is someone who didn't offer you commitment or you had to end a commitment with them in the past. Six of Cups, a soulmate, past life person, whatever. I feel like there was some kind of issues with regard to commitment. This person could have stepped out the boundaries, not offering you commitment, okay? They may have been unfaithful and unloyal to you as well. Um, some of you guys, it is a Taurus. Let's see what that tower is all about. Ooh, Nine of Cups. So see the tower hit and now your person realizes what makes them happy. What's going to fulfill their cup up, right? So that's what I'm singing here. That nine of cups can also be your person was overindulgent, right? In the past, that may have caused the tower. Maybe they drank too much. They party too much. One having um, other interests too much or sex too much. Whatever it is, there's something here that's overindulgent, selfish, me, 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 my, my, my. Wanted the cake and eat it too. Whatever it is, it got, it got to a point where something here was not sustainable. It was not going to happen. It had to be changed. It had to be destroyed. So this person, whatever they did, it also could have been something here that was toxic. Whatever it is, Nine of Cups is awful. It's also overindulgent. So if they overindulge in something, that came to an end, okay? Now the star... We got the lovers in reverse, Gemini energy. So your person, right, they're optimistic that they can turn this back around. The lovers is here. This is the decision that perhaps, you know, they made in the past. They didn't want to come towards you. They denied the truth, right? Um, but reality of it all is that the star is that this is someone who thinks of you very fondly. There's a lot of wishes and desires and hopes, manifestations. So your person definitely could be manifesting you back, manifesting this love, manifesting you guys to come into a union. Wow. Gemini energy, three of pentacles in reverse. What's going on? This person's feelings and emotions. So you guys weren't able to be to align. I feel like there was a reason why you guys weren't aligning. The timing wasn't right. I'm really feeling divine timing. So there could have been a lot of obstacles, could have been a lot of fights, just not being able to come together. Yeah, the Ace of Swords mm -hmm. and the Sun in Reverse. This person is now seeing that they're not happy without you, right? The Sun in Reverse has been a lack of clarity. That was, um, you know, they've been kept in the dark. They may have kept you in the dark. Regardless, the Sun in Reverse is saying that your person very, very unhappy. At one point, they were very hopeless, okay? But this is telling me that they're wanting to break through that. They're wanting to come to you with some truth. There's some kind of clarity. There's some kind of awakening. Um, and they're wanting to, to speak to you, right? There's a need for some kind of communication, right? Also, some of you guys, if they put you in a third party, could have been with a Leo. This is someone who wants to tell you the truth about the third party whatever happened why they weren't able to build with you at that time why they kept you in the dark why they ghosted you for some of you guys with that sun in reverse there's, there's truth coming there's truth coming there's answers coming right 
Now, the Ace of Swords, how they want to move forward is, is having communication, right? So this person has ghosted you. They haven't talked to you in some time. They're keeping an eye on you. Page of Swords. <laughs> so they're waiting to speak to you, but they're waiting for that right time, right? This is someone who's checking your social media. They're looking at your Facebook. They're looking at your Instagram, checking your stories, seeing what's going on with Capricorn before I come rushing in. Look at that with that Knight of Wands energy. Someone wants to kind of bust through your doors, rush to you because what? That Knight of Wands is about passion, desire right um chemistry right so this is someone who has been holding back for some time right that king of cups been emotionally manipulative or not really open with their emotions and feelings they could have held back repressed their emotions for you not told you how they felt or told you the exact opposite and look what we got the world divine timing is at play here this is the universe working things out so look King of Cups and verse in the world. So this is all changing. This is all changing. Okay. The world, um, I feel the universe is definitely helping this person to be more in tune with their emotions and feelings. Again, that's something that they may struggle with, being emotionally available, being emotionally um open. And I think now things are changing, right? Because we have someone who wants to take that that fool, that that movement, that forward um action, right? The fool is about jumping into the unknown, saying, what the hell? Let's just take a risk on it. Okay. So let's see what this fool is about. <laughs> Six of Swords. Someone just can't. Someone cannot move on without you. Is what I'm seeing. This is someone who's stuck, right? They can't seem to move forward. They want to take this new beginning, um, and I feel like they don't want this new beginning without you. This is someone who, again, you've had conflict in the past. They're wanting to go into calmer waters with you. Now, what's this Ten of Swords? Endings, betrayal, right? The things were difficult with this person, but now. Spirit is saying you're going to have to accept an ending as an ending if, if you want this new beginning. This is someone, again, who's just, I feel like they're really preying on you and wanting this new beginning, but they they haven't spoken yet. This energy could be over the next several weeks. This is someone who's keeping an eye on you, but they will. That Knight of Wands, they're literally going to come rushing in. It could be some sweet talk. It could be some passionate messages. Yeah, the Page of Wands came out again. See, this is news coming, okay? Let's see. Let me get, Give me another card for the Ten of Swords. Could be a Gemini, a Libra, Aquarius energy. We got Gemini strongly. We got Taurus. We got yeah. We got Scorpio. Okay, what else do we have? King of Wands. So yeah, King of Wands inverse and a Hermit. So whoever you're dealing with. They could be a Leo, a Sagittarius. This is someone who's lacking confidence, okay? So the problem is they haven't come yet. Well, it's because they're still going through this tower moment or this Ten of Swords, betrayal, this ending. They're still thinking, right? Virgo energy. The Hermit is them doing some real deep thinking, reflecting, how do I go about doing this, right? You know, Capricorn makes me happy, but this is someone who's lacking action right now. They want to come in, they want to come in, but they can't seem that the King of Wands is feeling powerless, right? They may be lacking courage. They may be just not so confident about being able to come towards you. So that's what's going on. A beautiful energy, Scorpio. This is what's going on with your person. If you want to dig a little bit deeper, check me out on Vimeo for your bonus reading. Um, dig all into their energy a little bit more. See what's going to happen. All right. Also, $32.00 till 11 11 if you're interested okay so scorpio you take care of yourself stay safe and stay blessed